spirit safe lane? Mm. Possibly. I, I'm just I'm throwing that's out possible. ideas. That's possible. No, that no, that's po- that's possible. The only problem Ten with Tusk seconds lane remaining. with Storm Spirit is that yes, you can hone in onto a Broodmother, but like Storm Spirit five can't really seconds, walk up and five seconds remaining. kill him. Like he's got he's got no like blink or any way to like close the gap. So it's gonna be at the very least pug to support. And yeah, you were right, Big Nutty, no tail on the tusk. So it's gonna eat off lane. Uh, off lane Prepare storm. For battle. Mark? Possibility. Maybe he's gonna go safely and they go aggro. Yeah, that's yeah. He has he has a sentry, so he's just gonna solo bottom, I think. Yeah, it's fair. They want and also aggro tri lane against black on AM plus pilot eye online. Although it might be into way too on the undying. He definitely wants to get this ward down here, but I think he's gonna rotate back up top after that. So, mm. so you you have what undying line AM versus Razor Pugna Tusk, correct? What do you think about that that matchup? Um. Well, we'll see if one Undying's doing, but typically Undying's very difficult to try lane against, whether he's in the off lane or in the safe lane. Right. So, I mean, I think they'll do fine because they're the three ranged to heroes. Anti Mage is obviously a melee hero, and and Lion doesn't really do much in the lane. Like he has control, but no damage. So I, I think they'll do fine. I'm just worried that I'm worried that Bone Seven will get crushed bottom. Yes, the Remnant is nice, but it, it's Bulba's not stupid. He's not just going to run his spiders into it. So I haven't seen this matchup. I've heard people talk about it that it's not too bad for Storm Spirit, but uh, I'll have to see for myself how it goes. The battle. That's something I'm not experienced in. I don't play against a lot of Brood and Thank God for that. It's going to be, for now, it looks like Way 2 is going to rotate back up to the top. So it is going to be the tri lane versus tri lane. Eh, maybe not. No Tail is going to block for mid. Yeah, I'll probably rotate back top, I imagine, after this block is done. Might stay, I think, sit around mid for a bit, though. I think the reason why it, it, this kind of lane is manageable for Storm is because typically Broods, they will, what they'll do is they'll like try to push into the lane if they know you're solo. And then they'll, like, you know, cut the wave. And then, and then kind of like bum rush you with spiders when you don't have when you have creeps against you, but Storm is pretty good about like pushing out the wave at your tower because of your remnant. So if he's able to just keep pushing the lanes once Bulba pushes the lane, then maybe he can combat this lane. So like I said, I haven't seen this matchup, but I have heard it's not too bad for Storm Spirit. But it's actually going to be Undying being annoying down here. Way too putting in some auto attacks into Bone Seven. I thought Way Two was going to rotate up top. He was even in the jungle over here for a bit. Uh, but he rotated back down at the bottom, and I didn't notice him. He has two mangoes, too, which is a, lot, a big issue is that you spam decay so often and is that it's a kind of big mana issue. With two mangoes, that's not going to happen. He can just spam decay all he wants, really. Wait until he gets tombstone and go from there. He doesn't have a full option, unfortunately. But top lane, Envy's going to just static link against Black Steel about seven damage and just be a general nuisance. This lane isn't particularly great for now. Fly actually stole the creep wave, too. We'll bring some uh, creeps back and get some experience. He has the point held for now. And we'll see if he picks up that point nether blast or what. But... All right. Not, not much happening. No tail's trying to find some kind of kill here in mid. I think he's waiting for Koifoot to take enough damage from this lightning storm and then maybe find his opening with the snowball. Oh, he's given up. He's going to go camp the bottom run, I think. Oh, right now, he might even need to help out 1 7 because he's getting harassed for him. <laughs> Bulba's getting a free lane now, essentially. Yeah, it's also important that Way 2's giving Bulba solo experience. Like, it's really important, because if you dual lane here and you don't get good levels on the spider, it's pointless. But he's he's doing a good job in, uh, about giving him the free levels, so he's now up to level 3. Whereas, uh, Boat 7's only level 2. Boat 7 was up to an okay start, but Way 2 continues to decay, and... Way 2 still has both of his... mangoes. Oh, there's one mango on Bone 7, that's not gonna help. No tail smoked up. We'll see if he goes for snowball on mid or something. Koikva is going to be kind of careful. He's got his illusions. He's sitting for. They, they haven't seen no tail the entire game, so they have to imagine that he's somewhere near mid. And Koikva is sitting very far back. He pauses the game as Fata walks up and then disconnects. Need to reboot. To reboot. Yeah, great. Good stuff. Well, that should be pretty quick, hopefully. I think they easily have enough damage to kill Shadow Fiend. Um, looking at TPs, there is a TP on Lion, so this pause could actually benefit Mouse because if they're deliberating and thinking, yo, I think you're getting ganked mid, be ready with a TP. If that TP reaction is super quick, whereas if the game was like naturally just rolling as it was supposed to go, you could kind of like, your, your mind might not be thinking about that. That being said, I think they still kill him if he 
even if he does TP quickly, because you got both level 2 spells onto Leshrac. He just hit level 4, and Koifu only has... He'll have one raise from natural mana regen, but that's... I don't know. might be enough to get a counter kill on a Tusk. It'll, it'll be close. Yeah. Comes down to the air spike, I think. Maybe you can somehow get it onto 2 as well. You've seen more ganks uh, thwarted by a 2 mana spike. Envy Wish. has Envy. <laughs> the Razor and Viper. Good time. That's I feel for him, man. Those heroes are not fun to play. Razor hey, used to be fun to play, but not anymore. Do I have to tell you about the pub scraping hero that is Viper, our Lord and Savior? Do we need oh, to God. get into this again? All right, he's a he's the hero, dude. All right, I'm I'm sorry. I can't even talk about that hero without laughing. By the way, how's the FBL been? I know you've been playing a lot of it. I actually just got caster vouched, so. Oh, it's eh, it's okay. I it's pretty much just NEL. <laughs> like, yeah, so I've heard NEL with a bigger price pool. Yeah, I like the the uh, the client thingy. It tells me who's playing what hero. I think it's really yeah. interesting. Yeah, the client's not bad, except it took us like an hour and a half to fix the game that got. Uh, that had to be manually resulted, which was kind of annoying. That is a problem. But, uh... Not great. Last night, we played some techies games. It was really fun. Had some fun with that, but, uh, yeah, it's basically NEL. I can't even tell you who's playing what hero. I can tell you Mason is playing Anti-Mage, Emesis is playing yep. Anti-Hunter. Got the client open right here. FD. I have to get into that. But, uh... Alright, we're back into the game here in a moment. It is... Koifu has reconnected. They could easily TP him with this line. Koifu has, I'm sure, some idea. He has to be watching. Like, his TP needs to be, like, instantaneous. And Koifu just backs up. Yeah, uh, he's going to get behind the tower. And No Tail is still smoked up. And there was a lightning storm coming up from Fata. And Koifu is playing passively. He, it's because he's, like, five gold away from his bottle. He does not want to risk it in there. He, he's going to walk right If he dies now, well. it's not the end of the world because he's got a bottle, but... Good, they don't even have to use the TP coming up from Pylai Die. He's able to force or able to stack up the jungle a little bit here. There they go. Good. Snowball's gonna go in. TP comes in. Quickfoot did buy his bottle. Lightning Storm's gonna go. And now they're gonna try to turn on this. Pylai Die was ready the entire way. They'll try to wrap around and go for an Earth Spike here theoretically on No Tail. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I, I I don't think they're going to get this. Yeah, there's no boots onto the uh, onto the line as well. In yeah, fact, even Fata's running here to try to get a counter kill. I don't know about this. And even Fly kind of rotating over, but Black's on his tail. Ooh, this is really weird for Fly. Stun actually oh, hits. Very nicely done by Pi. Just the tip, and now there's going to be the snowball coming in. Black, another blast will go through. It's only level one, so right click as well. Here comes Fata on the pile I die. There's the decrap, but a whole lot of fighting. Much to do about nothing. Radiant's really. that's, bottom that's tower is nutshell. under attack. Radiant structures yeah, are fortified. So it, it's kind of like both teams wasting their time, but look at this DS. It's all Fata and not so much uh, quite fun. He's got 18 CS compared to 8. It's a Shadow Fiend. I, I, I think we, we said every time we see Radiant a Shadow Fiend, what do we, we, we talk attack. about this in, in some way, shape, or form. Oh, he's a Shadow Fiend. Go to the jungle. You know? Yep. That's our cast in a nutshell. It's know. very true this game, too, because these no one else could really take stacks until it's an anti mage with the battle. Order. So he's got a nice, yeah, Radiant's exactly. Nice triple stack there, I think. Fallen. And yeah. then. Um, That's it. Yeah. Well, that's it, but the point still stands. <laughs> that's it for now, but that might n that might be enough for Koikva. He, he really just needs something. Level 3 raises will be nice to have, but Fata has done an excellent job. Top lane, Black is getting zoned out. He went for the early ring of health. His CS is only 11. They've done a really good job in this top lane. Although a lot of the time was wasted when Black came around. So, that again will go. Blinks away, breaks it. Even that like a little bit of static is annoying. It makes it harder to see us with. God, kind of bone seven. I didn't even. We've been spending so much time looking at them running around in the jungle, but yeah, they took the tower early on bottom. There is no tier one, which is really good. Uh, and bone seven's not even close. Level six top, maybe a kill. Uh, Tis mine. Oh, what happened? Fly was getting low. I actually, was not. I did. I just noticed it. There's no mana drain just yet for Pilot Eye. Mouse are in a really good spot. Down bottom, Bone Seven is in a heap of trouble. 
And they throw down the tombstone. They only need the four decay. I think one to give Bulba the kill. That's actually way too getting with the decay. So no, they give it to way too. And that's not only a tier one tower gone, Radiance but it's the first blood and mouse force are decimating this bottom lane. Although there is 21 CS for Bone. It's not bad, but Bulba's still having a great time. And while Black doesn't have that much farm, they don't. They can't really kill him unless he makes a big mistake. Because they just don't have any stuns. Their only stun is... Like the snow, like the reliable one is like the snowball to set something up, but that's just not enough. It's, it just doesn't really do any damage Dyer's either. Middle tower the only way they can kill him is like a, a pretty farm storm spirit, but he's been shut down and actually just got killed, so things are going honestly not too bad for Mouse. Yeah, their mid lane could be better. Again, Quickful will catch up eventually. Black, thing to be said for him, although it's much harder uh, to catch up as an AM if you're. Farming slow if you don't have that early battle fury, but bottom. Oh god, bone seven really have level six and he's gonna get destroyed. Another tombstone. Another Dyer's day middle towers towers under attack. Wait till he gets yet another kill. He Dyer's can afford structures our if he are wants fortified. To. Bulba is gonna have his Radiance minus. bottom tower is under attack. To. Middle lane. Dyer's middle tower is under tower. attack. Middle lane, they're pressuring flies level two, or sorry, level three with a level two nether blast. And with the DD, they should be able to at least pressure this. Probably get this tower. Yeah, they should probably get it. I don't think that Shadow Fiend can really do too much. Dyer's middle but, um, tower is under attack. Do you at least take the stack or was this? Stolen? Yeah, he's, he's back and take the stack. Uh oh. How about I getting chased down? Dyer's middle tower he's has to fallen. Work, it'll be Fata in the end getting the kill on the tier 1 tower mid. He's up to 1400 gold. Top lane black still kind of getting zoned out by Envy. He's got 23 last hits. He's got boots finally. Boots and a ring of health. Not super great. He's trying to turn on Envy for whatever reason. He's just trying to manage right him. He's actually completely out of damage. He's got negative damage now. I think that was actually a fine decision. Like, he knew he was... He could have just blinked away and... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. But now Envy can't, can't pressure as much without the mana. So I like that decision by black actually. Mid lane, Fatsa gets the kill onto Koifa. Dyer's middle the tower is under blast. attack. They hit a split earth, which was really nice. And Fatsa will arcane, and that's it. Plot 9 are doing a great job. I mean, yes, this bottom lane has gone horrendously. And Bone 7's had a rough time. He is the proverbial off laner, though. And this is expected. If they could somehow kill Bulba, they'd be in, I think, in a pretty good position because of how much they're zoning out Black as well as Koifa. Easier said than done, though. I think, it, I think he actually could have maybe gone for the Yule, the Rush Yules here for Fata. Just how well he's doing. They, they could have easily killed um, any of the heroes with it, but wants to go the more, uh, I guess, standard but safe route of just having more raw HP early on so you don't die as early or die as easy. Which is totally fine, but just kind of to each their own. For instance, Samael, I know Samael likes to rush uh, Yules a lot more in the mid lane. Uh, it's he's just kind of like of a, a, a little bit of a preference. You can manage different items based. Black, top lane, static when goes, doesn't catch. Snowball, not coming. I don't think Black saw them behind the tower. They he might have. Uh, yeah, he probably did, actually. Bone 7 down bottom now gets some room to work with, but here comes Bulba and company. Ball lighting is available for Bone 7, so it's harder to kill him this time around. He's going to try to take down some. Oh, so he needs the ball lighting away and will. He does oh. kill a couple of Spiderlings with his uh, Remedy. Dyer's top his tower is under attack. That was so close. Black slipped with like a sliver of HP. At the value point in Spell Shield, it was an open stun there from Fata to set it up. And then they tried to um, to stagger it with the Snowball. Went a little bit early, just a hair Dyer's early. Top tower As a result, Black fallen. runs away, or blinks away with like Radiant's HP. bottom tower yeah, is, is the, under the burning attack. Ball, I'm assuming this is what you call it, it's the burning build. It's the first time I, I saw it with burning, but it goes to I one, got one, one, and then two points in the attributes. Just like standard in the enemy play. Mid play and Pylite dies, Pulse Nova coming up, Finger. They will get the kill, they lose the line, but that, that trade's probably fine. I really need to kill Fox and that's what to do. Snowball comes in, going on the way to. Ethan is already down, Dust comes out as well. Now Ball at Ian. Here comes Bone 7, they do get the double for Balba. The Sigil is doing work again. They're still going to go for Bone 7. He's completely out of Radiant mana. Bulba so as attack. well out of mana. He is a soul ring at 8 seconds. Bone 7 does soul ring himself. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ground. In the meantime, they were diving for Black in the top lane. They couldn't quite find the kill. Past the tier 2 tower. 
the now mouse sports will head towards this tier one mid. Radiant That's a pretty big axis point that they're going to chop down here. However, Radiant's rotation's coming tower through the is jungle. And V and Fly kind of low on mana, but they have arcanes in two. And it looks like mouse will not be able to take this tier one mid. Yeah, there was a big line drop by, uh, drawn by Pilot Eye telling him exactly where the supports <laughs> or those seekers were going. But nicely played. They also gave up the sigil there, which is a good, uh, good 90 gold there for Bulba. He's up 2-0-2. Oh, has Midas well on his way to his Dagon, just needs about 900 gold for that, so... This is scary. He's got webs just all around this side of the map, too. So his access points between mid and bottom at the same time is, are, are set up to where he can get there very, very quickly. This is this is the benefit of having a tier 1 tower bottom at like 5 minutes into the game, even earlier. He can just be a nuisance throughout the entire enemy jungle, and he's done a really great job of that. So, Dyer's the, the one issue right now attack. after killing Fata is is getting black farm, and it's going to take some time. Going threads, it looks like he's a casual band of elven skin. Pile I die is running away from a lot of enemy heroes from Radiant's Cloud Nine. Middle tower is yeah, under I think attack. Cloud Nine. I think they're doing the right thing. They need to group up. Dyer's I don't think they can. Tower is under they're just going to get picked off if they start if they try to farm, especially if they're in the bottom lane. At the very least, they can try to like leave Sorcerer down there and then kind of. Uh, Fall and run away. He's actually trying to get a kill on this way too. He's gonna be close. He's all out of mana. Top tower has fallen. He's all out of mana. But one more auto attack. Oh, he's so slow from the death loss in zombie. He's actually might die to this. He's Bone dead. seven is gonna buy and he'll go down Four. way too. Gets the kill. Wow, what a turnaround. Good ability oh, that two stone. And way too almost straight up buys a mech. He's, he's got it in like 200 gold. Our spike just catches onto envy. Black does have Mana Boy, but Envy's not low enough for that really to do that much damage. He's only level 1 as well. So, Black will back up. And even though Mode 7 died there, I, th I still think Cloud9 did the right thing by pushing top. They need to pressure that. Uh, it was kind of a blunder there, honestly. You know, Stormy. He went for the kill. He felt like he would, needed to make some kind of big play, but I don't think they need to. I think they're as long as they group Dyer's up and make the right towers decisions under team, attack. he will be relevant eventually. Yeah, plus not expecting that big slow coming out. I don't know if that slow really saved him, but definitely helped. Um, Bulba has Dagon 1. Boykfoot continues to try to get farm. He's up to 2,000 gold. That's not too bad. He doesn't need to go mech because Witch is buying it. So he can go for whatever he really wants. I'm, I'm kind of... I don't know if Black is going to still go for Battle Fury at this point. I mean, he should, right? But he bought yeah, that, I, band of that Band of Elven skin. I don't know what he's doing with the rest of the gold. I think he should. Might be able to choose more wisely after they get the skill on Envy. Mana Void, maybe to get the kill. Yeah, that'll do it. Nah, that puts Black up to 1500 gold. Pretty big kill as Envy's been a nuisance. They take down uh, the Razor. The tier 2 tower top did go down, but it's fine. Razor bought a staff of wizardry. Uh, maybe this is the start of a uh, axe. Just a weird component to start things off with. Um, maybe just that when he had his quick buy, he was trying to spam out buy as much as he could before Dyer's he died. Dyer's bottom tower is under got, attack. So. Yeah, Lucer, Courier of the Secret Child. There is almost a um, Bloodstone here for the left track. I still think. I actually still think Yules would have been great because the catching potential is really bad against the Forester, and he had a bad game at the start. So he's going to be bottom, he's going to just fall and TP out. And. Oh, so close. Hex might have been a better choice there. I don't tell you. Yeah, probably. Sorry. I don't think he had vision with him. Oh my oh. god. That's uh <laughs> That is not that is not a manner pause, but it certainly functions as one. <laughs> Why gets blown up literally the squishiest hero in the game. It's hit twice and then spawn spreadlings day getting your dead. That's pretty much it. Yeah, the best feeling is Bulba's like, I just got a kill, that feels great. And then right after the pause I get the minus a big creep. What a better we can't have a better feeling than this for Bulba right now. That's a lot of gold. Uh, mouse sports are in a pretty good spot. The, the, I, the Black is still woefully under farmed. He will be for a period of time, but him and Koikfo, if they can catch up, this game is theirs for the taking. Easier, again, I say this a lot, easier said than done, though. But the Shrak Fata should have a pretty good mid game. It's going to be very squishy. Yeah, I was th just thinking this this farm on Bulb is insane right now. And he has Dagon too. You can ferry that out. The rate he's farming, he could probably wait till he gets a second recipe of Dagon, so we can just go straight to Dagon 3. Because they're in the couriers being used right now, so we'll see what he goes. Either way, he's very, very farmed. Find some bounty runes, why not? 
And that's the worst part, always oh, putting some damage on the Fox. The Fox, he actually activates the ultimate. Here comes the ball. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. That was not the play. In fact, he gave up all of his spider link to Fata as well in the process. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you can't do that to Lestrat because he just instantly disables your ability to go through the trees. I think Ball wasn't was expecting like... Storm to be there that fast. Yeah, that was really solid play. Bowen 7 has caught up very well. He has one Oblivion staff already. He has Shred's done. This is not going to be like a 14 minute Orchid, but it's not going to be that late either. And Fata with that pickup gets a 14 minute Bloodstone. Finds another double damage rune, because why not? Quick in the meantime is going right into BKB, which is a great choice. God, but. that bumped Bone 7 up so much, actually. Jeez. Yeah. He right was there. having a rub this time. Anyways, tons of pings. Top lane. Envy trying to be a nuisance to black. I think Envy's playing this really well. Just, he's sitting in the top lane. They do not want to give up the top lane, because if he does, it's just going to be... They're not going to be able to kill the Brood as easy. If they do, it's going to be space created, because it's going to take them too long. So he needs to be as annoying as possible Dyer's to really middle prevent tower the best, is under uh, attack. Um, battle here for here Dyer's for Black. Structures but he's actually not going to have it at the worst timing in the world, really. Maybe 17. Yeah, probably 17. They're losing all of their towers, spotted. though, and that's to be expected when you have Fly with another Blast and even Fly to with level 1 Edict. And Envy not, I mean, just kind of being aggressive with Plasma Field. So, what? Three to seven, despite being down in kills, Cloud9 aren't in a particularly bad spot. Net worth graph is almost even. Uh, experience is really the big problem, as Mouse Sports are leading the way there. But they're now looking for a potential kill on Koi Club, and they're gonna find it. That's a three-man snowball. Koi Club gonna get caught out. First cut comes in out of three here. There's a figure on the fly. Now the Requiem, the turnaround. Splitter. Pulse Nova going through Koifa, taking a lot of that damage. Then that comes in though for way too right at the end there. Yes, they lose the line, but Pulva gets a triple kill. What a turn of events for Mouse Sports as Pilot Eye hits the through man earthquake of his life and gets up to 1600 gold because of it. And the insatiable hunger was pretty sick there too. Like 90 extra damage with tons of lifesteal made it really, really difficult. Big turn of events because it, before those kills, you saw actually a huge spike up. Zip in, zip out from both seven. Structures are fortified. Trying to delay the inevitable. He could not take that fight. Damage from Quick Flood, 36 Sniper Mastery stacks. Bobo walks in as well. I and mean, this tier two tower should be theirs. Plata will walk in from the backside. He just bought that Bloodstone, by the way. He's down to six charges now, which is not great. But Earth connects him way too. He's got mech in 15. He's gonna pop the flesh goal. Here comes the snowball. Solar. Oh, for the lightning storm, and he's dead. But they'll at least pick up a kill. They still lose there. No, the Kick Tower stays alive, bottom. Bulba's gonna stay down here for a little bit longer. And then I'll just keep it wet. He maybe lives before the uh, nerf to the cooldown reduction or cooldown increase from mechanism. It's so long now, 65 seconds. Okay. I wonder if he's gonna rush Greaves now, just because he's already got the two components and. The cooldown reduction from Greaves' uh, heal is just much, much better than Mechanism. What is it? It's 45 seconds? Yeah, it's 20 seconds slower. The old Mech. Right, Greaves will help him alleviate. Dyer's bottom um, tower is under attack. Seven charges. And Bulba kind of looks on helplessly as his tower starts taking eating damage. Nether Ward is there. Dyer's bottom Let's tower one tower, Pogna gets the kill. The, the gold advantage that should be there for Mouse Sports isn't because of Cloud9 taking down all their towers. And now the final looks like Mouse Sports are going to look to get that gold back. However, here comes the travel. TP's coming in. Black's going to have to point away. might not be so lucky. He's going to BKB. Has to. Requiem's getting channeled, but there's the Walrus Punch. Bottom field going the right clicks. Cloud9 getting low. Got to turn on Fonts and misses the raise. The last rec room, not enough damage to kill Fonts and Pilot die. Not able to TP out. Fly gets the kill with another blast. Well, BKB first usage is not the best for Quake Ah, uh, really, really nice nether blaster at the very end from Pugna. And Battle Fury is completed. 18 minutes. Uh, obviously, it's very slow, but he's been pressured a lot, so this is really to be expected. It could be but a lot worse. I Oh, Snowball comes in, but it's not going to connect. It's too far away. I think that the game plan of Cloud9 has been really good, though. Like, you can tell that they're just a... They're, oh, I missed that kill, but a free one. Oh, and Piv missed it, too. <laughs>
Pip, Pip is dying on the inside. You're laughing at him. I, I can tell him this is third. Oh, Bowser is going to get jumped on. He's out of mana. And Black will choose not to chase, interestingly enough. Dyer's top tower is kill. under attack. Yeah, yeah there oh. is always the... There is always a huge mana void onto a... 2500 acre uh, mana missing Storm Spirit and use five man kill in one spell. I don't think for anything ever. It's very scary, but he is a long ways away from where he needs to be. And I think a lot of this you have to credit just... Uh, even though you, it doesn't seem like he's done much this game, Envy's decision to stay top for the longest time and not move it was it's extremely smart. Going to have a full Agonims too coming through for Envy. Most, what most players would do is like get that tier 2 tower, maybe push it once, farm the jungle a little bit, and then like leave. But that's, I think, the wrong decision here, because that would just open up the entire side of the map for Mouse, especially the, the anti-mage. So. Nice knows, decision making here from Envy. He knows an anti-mage's farming habits, and he knows that that top lane is going to be where Black is going to be farming the most until he gets that Battle Fury. And even with the Battle Fury too, he wants to be able to farm jungle camps. He can now go to the enemy jungle, and that's very safe with all, how much pressure Bulba has been putting on. It might even be the safest place for Black. But they want to take it back as they TP down Bata, go rotate into the enemy jungle. Bulba is no longer there. It's actually in the same side. Very slow. Boots, no what's up. I don't know, man. This uh, it does feel like Mouse should be ahead. Cloud Nine actually have a network advantage. The longer this game goes, however, well, Black will get farmed. Quick will get back in. Bulba's already been a force to be. Uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. So, and now there's a blink dagger on Pilot Eye as well. All right, that's good. We'll see. It's just very, very bad at game. God, the FPL thing disabled. I don't know if you can hear it through my new mic. game host. Okay, good. Anyway, um, this could be a long one again. This is just the nature of Cloud9 Dyer's games, I guess. Resident Sleeper without the Nugget. Attack. But, um, Dagon, I think four? Oh, Dagon three, three actually. They just need to buy attack. time for Anti Mage. Like, honestly, Dyer's that bottom tower the big is under mana attack. void onto Storm can completely change a game at any stage of the game. Lincoln. First fight, finger goes, spots the snowball, they keep him alive, now they get the orb out of Black Soul, comes through, Bone 7 gets Requiem, he's out of mana as well, here comes Debbie though, the static link, he's got the Ivis Girl rolling as well, two down, mana void, not enough damage, he will get a Fata, he actually gets denied, Walrus Punch, way too not dead yet, Black has to get out, Nether Blast comes in, he's able to blink away, meanwhile they get the kill, uh, almost, well actually, wait till you just go down, I'm not sure to what, I think he died to the Nether War. Himself. Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to like heal himself for black. I don't know who, but he killed himself. That was that was pretty comical. Very we'll weird right initiation from Pi. Actually, I, I don't know why they initiated at that time. He blinked and stunned with everyone around, and he attack. only found one hero. And then he, he fingered the less rack, but he's like very very tanky. I, they were smoked up behind him though. I don't know if he noticed. He was, like the only there's like people there, power. and he didn't know the rest of them were gonna right behind him. Yeah, Fatsa but, respawns with the uh, that bloodstone. By the way, and he. Go right to Dire oh, structures yeah, are fortified. An eye off too. So they got really nothing here. Now he's got nothing out of that fight. And they had a pretty good wreck win too. And Quick is gonna get caught split earth. They're gonna die to tier three. Get the kill. No two even rolls into the snowball. Pilot eye first play got to envy. Gaten comes out spawns by the Not enough damage though. He will fall in the end, which is way too I think so with him. Net goes through on the upside. They Bring down Pylite, dive four dead on the dirt. Black gets a mana boy, but it's not enough, and he's gonna fall. Five dead, and all of a sudden, Cloud9 might take Rax here at 23 minutes in, as you just talked about. This one being Dyer's Resident Sleeper, I, I think not. I don't think Dyer's so, at, at least not right now. Uh, that definitely escalated quickly. You saw right there when I talked about the very beginning of the draft, right when I remember I was saying, like, this item build is, is somewhat good for, for Broodmother, but it's really bad against Raven. He's like the worst hero it is for the Dagon. He used two different spells, got purged twice, and just sat there and couldn't move anymore and just died. I think a splitter finally finished him off. But um, yeah, the, the unstable current is just so good against these single, tar these single target nukes. And we're just not getting enough from the Blink Dagger from Lion. Like obviously it's good, but when they're five manning, you ha you have to get more than just one single target stun. It has to be more than that. Really unfortunate too is that mouse supports they've had like really good mana voids. They just haven't had enough damage. Like if he had maybe had like a Yasha, he has a Ma Yasha now, but he had like a Mantis style. Got a couple more right clicks in and then mana voids. 
could be a disaster to the nine. But he's been a couple hits away from killing pretty much everybody. I don't know what build Koi Quick can either go for to like to make him more relevant in the fights. He's he's too reliant on his spells right now, so it's, I don't know if this Chrysalis is really gonna do anything. Oh now he's dead. Yeah, Koi Quick will be KD, but he's ice charted and he's gonna charge him directly. He gets backed up and actually he's healing pretty well too. They will take down the storm spirit quick is trying to right quick. He's actually gonna get slowed up and he'll fall eventually. Bulba's now caught out as well. They don't have protection. Oh, really nice ice shards. BKB. Uh, the ice shards have been odd point. Not only from no tip, but from Bo Bone 7 in the last game as well. Two dead suddenly. Way 2 is still flush gold up. Now they're going to start pushing into the tower attack. mid. Blank Morris points out of black. He's going to be able to actually just point way himself. That's a pretty far snowball for no tail. He's going a little too far in. He'll stay alive for now. Ice shards coming in on the two, but there's the day to clean him up. So buy back and TP to the tier 2 tower mid alongside Bone 7. They really want to finish off some mid-racks now, especially before Black gets farmed. Might be the second elimination game that Black plays in an anti-mage that he loses within the span of a month. Black's going to go into fly. This is the boy. He decided against it. Now the Orcs comes out. Splitter about it too from Fonta. Wait till he will die again. Sorb suicide into the Nether Ward. That's a double kill for Fly in the end. Bull will be the only one to live. Walrus punched. And that'll be the dead spider. The Arachnid falls to the earth. His leg's broken. A double kill for Bata as well, and that is it. Mouse boards are eliminated from Dota Pit Season 3. It was looking real good at the start of this third Dyer's game. Their second game is fantastic, but Cloud9 able to persevere. Some big play calls from MP to stay top, as you mentioned. And a huge fight down bottom that secures their victory here in this third game. Mouse Sports, they had a fantastic season, <laughs> but... Uh, That'll be it for them. Cloud9 will move on to play up against Hellraiser sometime here in the next week. They get the parting, wor uh, the parting words as well at the very end there from... <laughs>